All right, so here we're going to look specifically at uh, if else or conditional statements in JavaScript. So this can be useful for things like control flow, where you want one thing to happen if something evaluates to true and something else to happen if it doesn't evaluate to true or something else does. Um, so this is an example of a very simple um, if else statement. Okay, so first off, we define a variable x and we set it equal to eight. So x stores eight. And then we define an if statement. So start off with if, what's in parentheses here is what is is uh, the test to determine whether what to do whether something is true or false. So in this case, if eight is equal to or if x is equal to ten, then this will work. This will happen. So it'll print to the console or log to the console value is ten. If it's less than ten, then it's going to log to the console value is less than ten. And if anything else is true, which in this case would be greater than ten, then it's going to yield back value is larger than ten. Uh, so before we run it, let's look at the brackets here. So uh, what goes in parentheses is the test. There's a test for the if statement and the if, and the else if statement, and these have to evaluate to either true or false. The else, since it's the default, it's going to be what will be returned if the other things don't evaluate to true. You don't have to statement there. Um, the if, what, what to do if, if the if statement is true is wrapped inside of uh, curly brackets. What to do if the else state or the elf, else if statement is true is also wrapped in curly brackets, and then also for the else statement. So that's how you're dividing up the statements. Okay, so let's run this. See what happens. Okay, so it prints back value is less than ten, which makes sense because it was eight. Let's change it to ten. Value is equal to ten. And then we'll make it larger than 10, 21, and that should evaluate to the else statement. So value is larger than 10. So that's a very simple conditional statement using JavaScript, using the methods in JavaScript.